Today we got Roni Kenshin, episodes four and five. Don't forget to check out that Patreon link down below if you guys want the early access and uncut versions of all the reactions. Please leave a like and comment on this video. It really does boost us for the algorithm. Much appreciated. Let's hop right into today's episodes. Let's do it. All right, episode four, the fighter for hire, Sanosuke Sagara. Sagara. Sanosuke Sagara. Okay. Okay, that sounds amazing. Sukiyaki. This is the guy who I'm thinking of. From last episode and credits. They're drunk, you can tell. Oh, and he sees us with a sword. Is he going to think of us as a challenge? Because that's what he's looking for, right? A, a decent fight? Oh. Kenshin can tell something's up. I I think he sh could have dodged that, but he chose not to for some reason. Or what could he have told? What did, could he tell was up? Yes, I agree. I do like how Yahiko takes no shit though. Doesn't matter who you are or what rank you are. Oh, now we've stepped way too far. Okay. I thought this guy was going to be Mr. Douchebag Asshole, but... Are those the rights you speak of? He's, he's spitting bars right now. Hypocrites. Spewing about justice and stuff and acting like bullies. So, we're about to do a 1v3 fight outside. Everybody's watching. Alright. I like the way they're visualizing him. It's just so big. Did he really just tank that? What is a Sun Tetsu? A Sun Tetsu is not effective. It went through his palm! Is his head really that hard on some Tanjiro shit? Like, I thought he was a very skilled fighter and very, like, martial artsy, but no, this man is just brawlic. Tanked a Sun Tetsu to the head and one flick this guy? I like how Kenshin's just behind him. He's like, as soon as you bring a blade into this, it's not a kid's game no more. When Kenshin gets serious, bro, it gives me so many chills. I love it. And go on home. That sent chills down his spine. I'm enough to immediately sheath that blade and stop whatever bullshit he was doing. That's what I I knew he detected it, and you know. Kenshin is such a legend. That's what I'm saying. Bad on the shirt? He seems like a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy at heart, but bad with money. We know a lot of anime characters like that. Who's he talking about? Is this the guy from the first episode? It sounds like him. It is the guy, yep. The old Hitokiri bot decided, the one imitating him. And obviously, Kaoru's uh, old attendee who's all that bullshit. Hitokiri Batosai, an ex assassin murderer. Mr. Zanza. I wonder if he told him the truth or if he lied to him just to gas him up into wanting this fight, you know? Worthy of using my partner? Interesting. Zanza, fighter for hire, about to fight our boy Kenshin. For you, known throughout the underground society of Eastern Tokyo. <laughs> okay. Ultra cheeky lone wolf. Bad, I can tell. 
Now, in a straight up actual like blood lusted fight, I am curious. I want to see Kenshin go all out. See, his senses are top notch. I love that. I want to see Zanza go all out. He's like, whoa, you know my old title? Now it's a different ballgame. Now we're getting serious. E10 Mitsurugi. He was 14 when he started? Literal manslayer. Merciless assassin squirming in the shadows. Yeah, I need to see. I need to know all the details, everything. I do enjoy that he did his research and he knows a lot, you know. Fight stars, uh, I like that. One that excels at multiple opponents, right? He doesn't have the full picture. He has a lot of the broad strokes, but not the full picture. I respect the honor. He knows it's gonna impossible. What is this? Is this all to weaken Kenshin or? Oh, he's doing some Toji Fushiguro shit. Gotcha. Okay, Glock, he's got that blicky. Now, who could that be? Oh, so much. Now, that's probably a lot of imperialists, but it's definitely not Kenshin. I get that. So, like, political views, whether you're a Democrat, whether you're an imperialist. I love the dark lines. I love that. I love the animation. I love the visuals right now. Oh, this man has N. This man knows how to use Nen. This man is a war top class swordsman. The gun? God, he even knew he was being used for that reason. You fucking bitter old man. Whip out your life giving sword, Kaoru would whip his ass. For my partner. I love how he calls his weapon his partner. It is rather large, too. Over longer than his entire body weight. And it looks too big to be a single sword, unless that's a chi. Like, is it like a club? A long blade, like a great sword? What is it? Right? Surely that's a spear. It's not a spear. I was about to say, I've heard from certain weapon experts on YouTube that your ideal weapon, if you're skilled with it, is a spear in hand to hand combat. You get the range, you get the slashing ability, the stabbing. It is a great sword. Zanza. This guy. Zanbat Zanbato? Wait, that's not like from Bleach, right? I don't want to be spoiling myself for Bleach, but I've heard. May I think there's like a C or a K in that. Zanbato? Maybe I'm Zanbato? I don't know. I don't know they say Bunkai. I'm very excited to watch Bleach. I love the narrator too. Such a great voice. Force and all. I mean, it makes sense. No wonder he's so brawlically strong. Look at that sword, bro. He's gripping it like this. Alright, Zanza going in. Sheath is destroyed. Kenshin's too fast. Going non lethal side. Oh my god! Speed is your number one ally, but this is just crazy. Is it already over? It's his incredible resilience. Of course it is. I don't know why we didn't think of that earlier. 
But for him, he brushed it off like it was nothing. I kind of get what he's saying with that. I kind of like that. Oh, thank the Lord I'm watching one more episode. I can tell they're ending the episode right there. Oh, I, the, the benefits of being behind, I guess. All right, on to the next episode. This should be episode five, I believe. Your gun is gone, so what's your plan now, old man? All right, whatever he says. He's pissing me off. All right, episode five, and then another. Still at the riverbed, the scene of our fight, stage of our duel, the clashing of two like-minded opponents. Yeah, both weighing out the distance, waiting for one to make a move. Okay, okay. Some great movement and speed coming out of Kenshin, landing on the blade itself, dragging the tip down, great slash. If he was using the, the blade side, this would already be over. Consec ooh, ooh, ooh. And they're all with the backside. Or I guess this one's a reverse blade, so the front side, you know. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I thought it would be somewhat close, but no, Kenshin really is him. <laughs> this is not actually, this is the epilogue. Story's already over, buddy. Fight has been done. I like that. That's a bar. Captain Sagara. Ten years ago, Tosando. This is who he was thinking about last episode. Look at a young, young Zanza. I need to get his actual name too, Sakanosuke, something like that. Immediately after the Battle of Toba, which was the Battle Kenshin left, right? So, so Sagara. Sanosuke. Raising the curtains on a new era. 300 years. Where am I recognizing the voice actor for him? They have the same last name, right? Sagara? Are they older brothers? Father, son? Oh, he's not related at all. He's just the son of a farmer who's trying to make a better world, you know. Interesting. Sanosuke Sagara. Okay. He wants just a surname. And he ends up going with it. Sanosuke Sagara. Yeah, what? That is some political bullshit. That's like some Game of Thrones level shit, you know? It's horrible. Yeah. The road is going to be perilous. Now I'm curious what happens to Katsuhiro, Captain Sagara. That's crazy with the whole having taxes and the fake Seiko army, all that. Like what kind of bullshit? There's going to be like some public execution, some showing off, making an example of them, isn't there? Oh. God damn. Yeah. I mean, getting, re getting his backstory, getting his motivations, why he hates the poor class equality, imperialist bullshit, whatever that is, you know? Like, completely understand it now, you know? Oh, I love how Kenshin can just tell that. I get his, his motivation.
You had another gun? A secondary gun. There's no way he actually hit Kenshin. No way. Good. Did you block it with the hilt? Oh my lord. I might have to kill that man. I know Kenshin doesn't kill. Shout out Kaoru, instant worry. And support. A sword guard. I know, come on, one of you gotta run. Ride, struggle. He doesn't... At the end of the day, he doesn't like seeing someone bullied or be a bully, you know? That was such a fire, <laughs> great sword, fucking Zanbato throw. Zanbato throw. He's dual. He said, "Fuck the blickies." Oh my god. That we shall. Such meager strength. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look how clean that boy is. Kenshin, if he wanted to, could kill so many people so... I mean, it makes sense why he's the fucking Himurabatosai, you know? That seemed less of a... I'm trying to hit you punch, more of a... Slap some sense into you punch, you know? Take it from someone who just met Kenshin not that long ago. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> he has the support. He has our uh, our backup. I love it. In my own humble way. True. He's a he's a sword for the people. He's a man of the of the little guy, you know. Damn. Whether it's a year or ten years, which is a call back to that line, you know, the Seiko army. It's all he can do to atone for the rest of his life. That struck a chord. Oh, reminds him of a fucking homeboy. Damn, man. I did not know he was going to go out like that, bro. Captain Sagara. Yeah, it was one of the real ones, not a, like a fake, a hypocritical imperialist, you know? Like a true idealist to his core. I have a feeling just like Yahiko, we're about to get a new, uh, new member of the squad. Which I'd be very down for. Very humble of you even to admit defeat. Watch, now they're coming back here, another thing's gonna go down. It's this don't tell me it's the same fuckers. Oh my god. Oro? Right? He's got bandages all over. This fucking guy. <laughs> fucking Sanosuke. This guy's hilarious. I said in anime time, three months would be two weeks, but no, one day. He's already up and at him. You're gonna have to find out, buddy. Join the squad. I like that. I like that. Sanosuke. No more Zanbato because we cut it in half? No more mercenary fighter for hire. Just like how you're no longer the heat. I love that. Hey, man. Sanosuke. Sagara. Welcome to the squad. Yes, I like him a lot. He didn't pay his bill again. Son of a bitch. God damn it. That was a great episode, though. That was a great episode. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed those episodes. Um, I knew I was one behind. I'm glad I caught up. I am really liking Sonosuke, his story. 
if and i know i've said it like i said earlier multiple times but if you guys could give me everything that's gone down in a very simplified way one more time i know you guys have but now that i'm adding more context into it so give me time period like in terms of 1800s or like 1860 1870 give me when the first uh revolution took place give me the three sides or the two sides whether it's the imperialist and the and the democratic revolution faction or whatever it may be and then please because you guys have been very beneficial for me at trying to understand this because i just don't know a lot about japanese uh, history but i am thoroughly enjoying this and it's it's a very different political take on wandering swordsman Roni, all that style so uh thoroughly enjoying this love kenshin as a character the fights animations the dark lined outline incredible i'm really enjoying sanosuke as a character yahiko growing on me the little fucking dweeb uh and keoru obviously i love her so there i i got like 20 more episodes of the show i am gonna be looking forward to all of them hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below check out that patreon for early access full length all that jazz other than that have a great day dapper squad thank you immensely Peace out.